Uh, billionaire Howard Schultz is very upset. You're calling him a billionaire. It's an accurate oh. description. <laughs> Whoopsie daisy. <laughs> oh, dude, I love the uh, slut ever. What? Okay. Anyway. Oh, slut, ever. slut ever. Oh, it's so hot. Uh, Watch anyway. Free. Um, so uh, one thing that's interesting about this Howard uh, Schultz guy uh, is uh, his. Uh, they did some initial polling on how people perceived him. Uh, Likeability among Democrats, 4%. <laughs> Likeability among independents, 4%. Uh-oh. Likeability among Republicans, 4%. So no one likes him. Uh, and, and the vast... And, and there's a, a big 40 to 50% negative in each of those categories, and then the rest of the people didn't even know who the fuck he was. Like, never huh? Heard of him. So, uh, you know, things are not shaping up so great for uh, his uh, his presidential run or his ambitions to be president, apparently, uh, as a, a centrist, I suppose. Anyway, uh, get Melania Trump on the horn. Someone's been bullying Howard Schultz by calling him a billionaire. In an Ruh-roh. interview with uh, CNBC last week, the former Starbucks CEO appeared to take personal offense to being described as a billionaire. He said that people should use uh, the softer people of wealth or people of means to describe his class. What? <laughs> Fuck I, you. I'm a person of means. <laughs> a Look, person of wealth. I am a person of wealth, sir. Oh, my God. This is like fat people wanting to be called people of size. Oh, no. The poor billionaire class. It's like, eat a dick. You <laughs> no longer punk. will us billionaires. I'm sorry. No longer will us people of wealth be oppressed. lambasted and oppressed. Like, does he really think that the negative perception amongst an increasingly fucking torn apart country of billionaires is going to be fixed by softening the language? I fucking hate billionaires. Oh, but you know what I like? People, People of, of wealth. wealth, though. I like those guys. Well, let's look at his whiny response here. I guess there's a video here. All right. I have a person of wealth. Uh, the author of Winner Takes All sent in a question. He said, do you agree that billionaires have too much power in American public life? And it gets at, it yeah. gets at the issue that, that AOC has been talking about. It gets at the issue that Elizabeth Warren's been talking about. It gets at yeah. I, I, I you know the the moniker billionaire now has become the the catchphrase. I would rephrase that, and I would say that people of of means have been able to leverage. Wow! Fuck wow. this, this yeah. guy. He so is, what you're yeah. saying is yes. All right, so you know what? Uh, I want you. I want the hottest fucking Starbucks drink to just be poured into this guy's fucking eyeballs at this point. Uh, he's an idiot. What a shit bag! Like they ask you a fucking direct question: Do billionaires have too much power? And your first response is like, "Well, um, I want to just you know just not even address that at first. And just kind of talk about the language it's that you're mean. using because billionaires is really it's like a derogatory term at this point." And I prefer to identify as a person of means. Dude, I, it's kind of hard for me to see him, like, fail so hard politically because at, I worked for his company for so long, and he was like Jesus in that company. Like, he... when well, he, he ain't Jesus Say what no you more. want about Howard Schultz as a politician, but he can run a fucking coffee company. When that dude left Starbucks, it went to shit immediately. And then when he came back, it came back. So he clearly knows how to do that. But this, nobody wants this. <laughs> I don't. Yeah, They're abort, wrong. abort. Bad They're idea. Interest uh, in ways that are unfair. And I think that speaks to the inequality. But it also directly speaks to the special interests that are paid for by people of wealth and corporations who are looking for influence. And they have such unbelievable influence on the politicians are so you're saying you don't have that? Parties. Right. And again, I mean, I it's just, this, this falls so fucking if flat. I run for president, I am not in bed with any party. I- yeah, oh, you're right. you're going to be the lo- one lone <laughs> centrist independent. Come on. Dude. I mean, he's trying to, he's, he's, he's doing the same sales pitch Trump did of like, I got my own money. I, I ain't bought and paid for, for by sale. nobody. Yeah, you are going to be for sale because you're going to fucking represent the billionaire class. That's who you're for sale for. And your fucking cronies and all your buddies. And you're, all you're going to do is give a bunch of gifts to fucking corporate America. No, thanks. You've already done that with Donald Trump. It doesn't fucking work. No one likes you. Walk off stage. You know Exit what? stage left. He has a kind of Mark Zuckerberg 
aura about him and the way that he speaks and shit that I think that that might lend to the unlikability of him. He just doesn't sound like a person that you could really empathize with anybody that's normal. You know what I mean? 